What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets it, Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started talking about the Carlos Carrasco injury update, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please smash on that like button. If you enjoy all my content, all my videos, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, guys, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys. So the Carlos Carrasco injury update. What is the latest with Carrasco? Well, as you may or may not know, Carlos Carrasco has been uh, dealing with soreness in his pitching elbow, in his right elbow. And the big problem with that is, is that one, he came in late into spring training. We really didn't get the full details of to why. Could have been possibly COVID related, whatever it was. He still came in late to spring training. And when he got to spring training, he developed a soreness in his elbow which has basically made him non-existent in spring training. He has not pitched yet in spring training. He has not been in a game as of yet. He's thrown a little bit, but then he developed that soreness and he hasn't actually thrown at all. There's a little bit of news uh, based on uh, that came from Anthony DeComo. Uh, as of yesterday, Carlos Carrasco could play catch tomorrow on Sunday hopefully resuming some type of throwing program, probably short tosses, maybe long tosses, just to see if that how that elbow is reacting and if he still has that soreness when he throws. Now, one thing that, um, that I was looking at when I was doing a little bit of research about, about what is the soreness that is causing the pain? Is it just soreness? Is it tendonitis? Is it just a dead arm? Or is it bone chips? Now, there hasn't been a lot of facts stating that it's bone chips, Let's hope as Met fans, as a big guy in this rotation, in the number two spot in this rotation, that it is not bone chips. As we've seen with the New York Yankees and Zach Britton, it can be at least a three-month recovery just to come back from having surgery to remove bone chips from the elbow. At this point, Carlos Carrasco doesn't have bone chips, but it might be possible that that, that could be causing the soreness. You know, it's, I'm, I'm assuming they've done MRIs, they've done x-rays, they, they might have seen nothing. It could just be soreness. Everybody gets it. Obviously, pitchers get it. It could be just that. But the concerning aspect is that he is a 34-year-old pitcher. He is getting older. Injuries could take longer to come back from. And with the, just the soreness, and it's taking this long just to have him start throwing, is a big concern for this Mets team a couple of weeks away from opening day. Now, because this is concerning and because Carrasco is a big possibility, if Carrasco does not start in a game by th this coming week, then it's very unlikely that Carlos Carrasco can start the season in this rotation. And as you know, Carlos Carrasco would have been the number two starter in this Mets rotation. And the big problem now that we're, the Mets are going to have is who is going to fill that spot? Is it going to be Jordan Yamamoto or is it going to be Joey LaCasey? In my opinion, it's probably going to be Joey LaCasey because the Mets probably would like another lefty in that starting rotation. But what that also does, that hurts us when it comes to the bullpen because now there is not many lefties that you can rely on on an everyday basis in this Mets bullpen. There is a couple of guys that we're going to look at, look at in a few minutes on this, in this, that have major league rust uh, that has a major league contract as of right now, who probably will make the bullpen and are 50, 50 on making this Mets bullpen. So it is a big concern because Joey Lucchese could be that option to fill that spot when Carlos Carrasco is not in the rotation starting the season. And when we look at the pitchers and the left-handed pitchers in the bullpen, when it becomes the concerning that Joey Lucchese could be in the starting rotation because of the Carlos Carrasco injury, you have these guys as we see right here. They are in orange. You got Aaron Loop, Joey Lucchese, Stephen Tarpley, and Daniel Zamora. These are left-handed pitchers that possibly can be in the bullpen that have major league contracts that the Mets gave major league contracts to or are currently 
in a major league contract, which is Daniel Zamora, Stephen Tarpley, Joey LaCasey, and Aaron Loop. Now, there is a pretty good chance, and it's likely that Aaron Loop is going to be the one lefty in this Mets bullpen. We were hoping for Joey LaCasey to be a big part of this bullpen as well, since there was basically five guys in this ro- in this rotation that we knew we were going to uh, be in the starting rotation. But with the Carlos Carrasco's elbow soreness and his injury, and most likely him not starting the season on time in his rotation, Joey Lucchese is probably the number one guy who can come into this Mets rotation starting the season. Yes, you could talk about Jordan Yamamoto as, as well, but as of right now, the concern about the Carlos Carrasco injury is not so much about the rotation at this moment because you do have guys that are capable to fill in in Joey Lucchese and Jordan Yamamoto. But the problem is you take one of those guys out of the bullpen, now you leave a big spot open for this bullpen who has already shown that you cannot trust. You cannot trust Dylan Batanzas. You cannot trust Juris Familia. You cannot trust Trevor May at the moment. You can't trust Robert Gersellman. There's a lot of guys that you cannot trust in this Mets bullpen. Edwin Diaz still to me is 50-50. I know he's been lights out in spring training and looked really well last year in the shortened pandemic season, but this is going to put a big toll on this Mets bullpen. And there is one guy out there that we can look at that the Mets can possibly look for this to add to this Mets bullpen because it is Carlos Carrasco injury. And when it comes to non-roster invitees to fill that role in the bullpen, if Joey Lucchese or Jordan Yamamoto Yamamoto fit into that rotation uh, to replace Carlos Carrasco to start the season, there's players like this. There is Jerry Blevins, there's Trevor Hillenberg, there's Tommy Hunter, and Mike Montgomery. These are four guys that are non-roster invitees that don't have guaranteed contracts, but could be a possibility for this Mets bullpen because Carlos Carrasco is not going to be in this rotation. Most likely, I would say about there's 85% chance that Carlos Carrasco is not going to be a part of this rotation to start the season. And hopefully it's not bone chips that are causing the soreness because that is a big problem because that will require surgery to remove those bone chips. And as you've seen with Zach Britton, could take up to three months of a recovery time just to come back to pitch. And that is an estimate. So that's the biggest problem with Carlos Carrasco. And the update on Carlos Carrasco is elbow soreness. Could it be a possible bone chip? situation that's causing a soreness or it's just regular elbow soreness but with a guy who's 34 years old it might take longer to come back from an injury if it is bone chips but at the moment it's just sore soreness and we just have to wait and see and hopefully he does throw tomorrow on Sunday and hopefully we get good news from that long toss short toss uh throwing session that Carlos Carrasco will have so the options as of right now could be Franklin Kiyome, could be Sam McWilliams, uh, Reed Foley, Drew Smith, Thomas Zapucky, Jordan Yamamoto, Stephen Topley, and Daniel Zamora. And other guys on non roster invitees is Jerry Blevins, Trevor Hillenberg, Tommy Hunter, and Mike Montgomery. Now, there is not, not a lot of lefty options, as I said before. You got Aaron Luke, Joey Lucchese, Stephen Tarpley, Daniel Zamora as the likely guys to fill those roles in the bullpen as a left-hander because at the moment, Aaron Luke is the guaranteed left-hander in this Mets bullpen. And obviously, Joey Lucchese is probably going to get the shot to be in this rotation to fill that, that void that Carlos Carrasco is leaving for the start of the season. Now, Jordan Yamamoto might have something to say about that, but right now I think it's going to be Joey Lucchese as the guy that's going to fill in in Carlos Carrasco's spot. So what does that mean for the Mets rotation? Well, that means everybody has to move up a little bit more. Obviously, you got Jacob deGrom as the number one. You got Marcus Stroman, number two. You got Tyron Walker, number three. David Peterson at number four, and most likely Joey Lucchese as your number five starter. So right away, the Mets are dealing with major injuries that can 
be a big problem for this Mets team starting the season. Not only is it going to hurt our rotation with, with your number two starter not in there in Carlos Carrasco, but it also is going to hurt our bullpen. And obviously our bullpen is a big concern for this season. Sandy Alderson, in my opinion, did not do enough for this Mets bullpen. He relied on guys who have not been good in years and relying on a guy who hasn't been good coming back from injury than D in Dylan Batanzas and Robert Gersellman. He is relying on juries familiar to step it up. He is willing, willing to work out and hopefully trust Trevor May, who's shown at the moment in spring training, who has a six ERA in spring training, is a guy that he's trusting, but right now I can't trust Trevor May. He's got to do it. He's done it with the Twins, but he has to do it in the Mets jersey. So right now the bullpen is a problem, and the rotation is, is already having injury issues. And I don't think that Carlos Carrasco is going to start the season, but we will have to wait and see. If this throw-in session goes well tomorrow on Sunday and he gets into a game, that can line him up to start the season in this rotation. But at the moment, there's probably a pretty good chance he will not. So that means Jordan Yamamoto and Joey Lucchese are the two guys that will fight for the fifth for the fifth spot to, to replace Carlos Carrasco in this rotation. So, guys, what other free agents out there in the bullpen could help this Mets bullpen. There's a guy called named Shane Green. Why hasn't Sandy Olderson picked up the phone and asked about this guy? He had a couple of good seasons with the Braves. He is a solid bullpen arm. And clearly the Mets need a bullpen arm. I know he's a right-hander, but at the end of the day, we need a guy who is we can trust and is good in this bullpen. And Shane Green is that guy. And I don't see why Sandy Olderson can pick up the phone and call Shane Green and call his agent and get this deal done. It's a big problem. This bullpen is a problem. I've said it since day one. Now, when Trevor May was signed early in the offseason, I thought that was the first big early step that Sandy Olderson was making to turn over this bullpen. He hasn't really done anything since. What, an Aaron Loop and many other non-roster invitees and a couple of major league deals from like a Sam McWilliams and, you know, guys like that. Yeah. You can talk about Drew Smith, but Drew Smith hasn't been that good either. You know, maybe Thomas Zupucky can step it up and be a part of this uh, bullpen, but he hasn't pitched much in, in spring training as well. So the biggest problem here is Sandy Olsen did not do enough with the bullpen and it's already coming back to haunt us because as of right now, Aaron Luke is the only lefty on this team as of right now, in this bullpen. It can be Tarpley. It could be other guys. But at the moment, Aaron Loop is the guarantee in this mess bullpen. Daniel Zamora, I don't trust him. Tarpley pitched well with the Marlins. But another guy that, you know, can you trust him coming out of the bullpen as a left-hander? I don't really know. You know, they also got Jerry Blevins, but he might be over the hill at this point. And also Mike Montgomery, who hasn't pitched well in spring training. So, Guys, this Carlos Carrasco in injury does not just affect the Mets rotation. It also affects the bullpen because you got to take a long reliever like Joey Lucchese and Jordi Yamamoto out of this bullpen and helping with the depth of the bullpen. Now you have to probably push them in to the rotation, which weakens the bullpen even more with a bullpen that is already having problems. So the New York Mets and Sandy Olsen needs to get on this phone and call Shane Green to get him in his bullpen to at least give another arm that you can trust in this Mets bullpen. And as we know, there's not a lot of guys we can trust in this Mets bullpen. So when it comes to Carlos Carrasco's injury update, guys, as of right now, it's, it's elbow soreness. It's a possibility that he could throw tomorrow. Um, maybe long toss a couple of a little throwing session to see if that soreness is gone or he can deal with the soreness while he pitches. But this week is is this coming week is a, a hit or miss when it comes to Carlos Carrasco. If he does not make a start and pitch a few innings starting this coming week, he will probably miss the beginning of the season in this rotation. So Carlos Carrasco at the moment has elbow soreness, possibly could be having a throwing session tomorrow. 
if he does not, he might be not ready for the opening of the season. And most likely, it's not bone chips in the elbow. So let's hope it's not, and it's only elbow soreness. But at the moment, Carlos Carrasco might not start the season in this Mets rotation. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash on that like button. If you enjoy my content, all my videos, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos, and when I go live, guys, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. I want to thank you guys for watching, and as always, let's go Mets.